Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, Secretary Shapiro, we're, we're putting a, uh, U.S. tax dollars are, are flowing into uh, Pakistan, uh, well, and I guess this is uh, Secretary uh, Flurno too, uh, to support the, the, the military buildup there, particularly uh, uh, counterinsurgency capability uh, of the Pakistani military. Uh, yet the Pakistani military se still seems to be very focused uh, in terms of uh, its, its capability against India. Uh, and it's, it's building up its conventional capability and maintaining its conventional capability and not necessarily diverting enough resources of its own for a counterinsurgency fight. What, what are the, the, what are the um, initiatives of this administration uh, in terms of diffusing uh, the tensions between India and uh, Pakistan uh, so that they can reorient their military to what really what is their greatest threat and that is Islamic fundamentalism within their own country. Well, obviously, we're very supportive of efforts by India and Pakistan to reduce tensions. Uh, there was a, a recent uh, meeting uh, between uh, the two governments that uh, we want to continue to encourage those types of efforts. Uh, on our security assistance, um, as, as we mentioned, we, we have been focusing a lot of resources through PCF and PCCF towards the counterinsurgency fight, so our, our resources are being used to help them in the counterinsurgency fight that uh, they have. And then our FMF um, is designed to build a, a fight. Well, let me, let me step back. Uh, but what, you're, what, what I want to know is, is there a, a, a significant initiative by this administration? Uh, obviously, there is one in the Israeli-Palestinian question, unwelcomed by the Israelis, but is there one? Uh, on the uh, India-Pakistan question in terms of there ought to be a major initiative to diffuse those tensions so that we don't have to subsidize their military, that their military uh, simply reorients, reorients itself uh, based on uh, uh, what, it, what I would uh, see as their greatest threat, which is uh, an internal problem. But that we have, they have to have a resolution of the India-Pakistan problem in order to, to divert those resources. So what initiative, if, if there is one, by this administration, or is there not one? Well, I, I have uh, with me the uh, Ambassador Holbrook's deputy, Paul Jones, who uh, I think would be well positioned to answer sort of our uh, regional perspective. And so if, with your indulgence, I can ask him to come up and, and, uh, and address that question. Please. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Mr. Kaufman, uh, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> in answer to your question, Mr. Kaufman, it's uh, certainly a very high priority for the President, for Secretary Clinton, for this administration to be as supportive as we can uh, in reducing tensions between India and Pakistan. Um, uh, we recognize that what we ha in order to be most supportive, we have to do what, uh, what both parties to the, con to, to the, to the uh, both countries um, would like in terms of support. Um, where we have, uh, so we, we in, encourage, engage where we can. And what we have seen um, is an interest on both sides. And uh, just recently, in fact, uh, just today, there was a meeting between um, uh, Prime Minister Singh and Prime Minister Gilani uh, in which they announced a, uh, an, a, an, a, a beginning of a dialogue uh, process at that level of level of foreign ministers, which had been interrupted after the Mumbai attacks. So I would say it's something we're very focused on. Uh, it's a very complex situation, and the United States, I think, can, uh, it's very clear that uh, our support is best done um, in, a, in a, a quiet fashion and just encouraging the, the, uh, the process and offering the support to the parties that we can. Thank you. Um, another question. Uh, uh, Certainly now the uh, Pakistan military seems to be very engaged uh, in fighting the Pakistan Taliban. Uh, have we seen any evidence now that they are also uh, willing to, to prosecute uh, any activities against the Afghan Taliban on their side of the border? Uh, General Paxton. 
Uh, yes, sir. We believe with a fair degree of certainty that a lot of the uh, uh, extremists are, are it's a syndicated network, uh, and they have loose ties. They have uh, marriages of convenience, whether it's the Haqqani network, uh, Commander Nazir, the, the Taliban, the TTP, so that when you see evidence of the Pakistan security forces, whether it's the, the Pak Mill, the Frontier Corps, when they're, when they're stepping up to take action against uh, insurgents and militants locally, uh, they're focusing obviously on the near-term target, who's creating the problem or creating the risk for them, but it is an increased evidence that they're willing to take on the entire syndicated network because they know there's movement between all of them, sir. David Sherman, I yield back. 